In this report, I'm going to tell you about the Tesla Giga Berlin's near-term momentum. That is going to include the production ramp, 46AD battery and structural battery pack, and demand and profitability that we're going to see for Tesla and Giga Berlin. Tesla announced 10 weeks ago that Giga Berlin has reached a production capacity of 1,000 vehicles per week. One of the analysts that last week visited Tesla Giga Berlin, among other analysts, um, he said that um, they expect that the factory will be able Able to reach a capacity of 5,000 electric vehicles per week by the end of this year, even if it is not easy. A production capacity at Giga Berlino, 10,000 model wise, will be possible at some point in 2023, hopefully early springs after Tesla adds the third shift. And I even heard a fourth shift, although I don't understand the work in fourth shifts because I thought everybody works eight hours a day, that's three times eight equals 24. But I've heard from other production capacities uh, companies that they they have worked for shifts and apparently it's great. In addition, um, these analysts expect Tesla Giga Berlin to add, expand another similar production line, producing 500 vehicles, 500,000 vehicles a year. This also includes the 46 AD battery structural pack, um, including in the near term momentum. Uh, these analysts conclude that the front casting is ready to go and only awaits the availability of structural battery pack and the 46 AD cell. Uh, analysts wrote that battery production building looked well advanced based on its observation uh, and ongoing dialogue with the company of over several months the firms expect to see 4680 battery cells in model y in berlin in a matter of month and quality at most and uh, the third part of the durability <clears throat> Actually, the third part of the near-term momentum at Giga Berlin is the demand and profitability. Uh, according to these analysts, which I'm going to tell you all in details, currently only uh, Tesla Giga Berlin currently only produces black and white versions of the Model Y performance. Since this is the most expensive option, it indicates that demand is great and the factory is ramping with the most profitable setup one can imagine, highest ASP and lower cost. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haria from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news as I'm going to tell you about the details of Tesla's near-term momentum that the analysts saw there last uh, week. I've been reporting a lot about Tesla Gigabarin in the past couple of days, talking about the group of analysts who visited there, including Deutsche Bank yesterday, and uh, telling their expressions about impressions about Tesla Gigabarin, the Model Y, the 4680 battery, the momentum, production ramp, and so on. Now I want to focus on the near-term momentum. What can we expect coming from Tesla Giga Berlin. So several investment firm analysts visited Tesla Giga Berlin last week, where they met with the head of Tesla's investor relations, Martin Vieja. New Street research analyst Pierre Ferrago also had the opportunity to get an exclusive tour of Tesla's European factory and had a test drive of Model Y on the German uh, Autobahn produced at Giga Berlin. Ferrago shared the findings in a note to clients. Um, Ferrago wrote that he was stunned by the quality of the Model Y produced at Giga Berlin. He expected it to be premium, like a Fremont made car, but the evaluation showed that the car at Giga Berlin was already in the luxury league, as its quality was fully equivalent to that of German luxury cars. The analyst believes that the main driver of these improvements is the experience that Tesla has gained at other factories. Here's what Virago wrote. He said, the interior design is about the same as Fremont made ones, simple, but the quality of the upholstery and overall finish is far superior, flawless. As I mentioned, the quality of the build that you can evaluate manipulating doors, observing panel gaps, paintings and color was surprisingly excellent. How is that possible? Being based in Germany probably has a lot to do with it. Local skills matter. But my impression, Farago says, was that the major driver of these improvements is simply experience. Berlin is a much improved factory compared to Fremont, and we see it in its cost efficiency as much as in the quality of the products coming out of it. So, 
they praise the Model Y built in Giga Berlin, not in premium quality, but in luxury quality. Putting the Model Y at Giga Berlin, build at Giga Berlin in the luxury quality. So Ferrabu came to the conclusion that compared to the Fremont factory, Giga Berlin is clearly much more efficient. Logistics inside the factory are much easier with docks that surround the factory on all sides and ensure that parts arrive at the right place in the production chain. The single manufacturing line is designed for a cycle time of 45 seconds and will deliver 10,000 cars per week at full capacity. The key factor is that Giga Berlin's vehicles are produced with a single piece rear casting and will move to rear and front casting as soon as 4680 batteries are available, which is going to be soon. The analyst reiterated that production with a structural battery pack significantly reduces cost, factory footprint, number of robots for welding and allows for a much easier assembly. Here's what he said. He said the trend couldn't be clear. Tesla is delivering steady cost improvements. And yes, reading my first two points leads you to the conclusion that over time, Tesla is doing cheaper and better products. It is usually a good recipe to grow profitability. Yes, to build cheaper and better car is a good recipe to build profitability. On a side note, casting doesn't only reduce manufacturing cost, it also reduces the weight and increase of the safety of the car, improving the product. The analyst shared an important fact. He said the total production time of a car in Berlin is 10 hours, while Herbert D said that at the main Volkswagen factory, it takes 30 hours. This fact gives an idea of Tesla's production efficiently. The firm is convinced that Tesla has made significant and tangible improvements in manufacturing costs, will continue to do so in the coming decade, and it will be very difficult for competitors to keep up with Tesla's pace. The analyst cites the example of Gigapress, which manufactures single piece cast from an alloy developed in, a co in collaboration with SpaceX. The automotive industry tried to make big castings, but gave up without success. Now Tesla has succeeded. Ferrago noted that at the time of his visit, Giga presses were not working, but the factory had a large number of castings. This shows that Tesla's casting technology is already very mature and the volume of casting is increasing faster than the rest of the production chain. Now, the near-term momentum. Tesla announced 10 weeks ago that Giga Berlin has reached a production capacity of 1,000 vehicles per week. Ferrago expects the factory to be able to reach a capacity of 5,000 units per week by the end of the year, even if it is not easy. A production capacity of 10,000 Model Ys will be possible at some point in 2023. In addition, the firm expects Giga Berlin to add and expand another similar production line, producing 500,000 vehicles a year. Part of the near-term momentum of Tesla Giga Berlin is 4680 in structural battery pack. The analyst concluded that the front casting is ready to go and only awaits the availability of structural battery pack and the 4680 cells. He wrote that the battery production building looked well advanced. Based on its observation and ongoing dialogue with the company over several months, the firm expects to see 4680 cells in Model Y in Berlin in a matter of months or quarters at most. And the third part of the near-term momentum of Giga Berlin is demand and profitability. According to Farago, Giga Berlin currently only produces black and white versions of the Model Y performance. Since this is the most expensive option, it indicates that demand is great and the factory is ramping with the most profitable setup one can imagine. Highest ASP and low cost, Ferrago said. So friends, what do you think about Giga Berlin and its advanced? It's a broader picture. The broader picture is the analyst emphasized that Tesla is facing unprecedented demand, which even exceeds what he could have counted on a few years ago. Electric vehicles have become so popular that for Tesla and its competitors, market share will largely be determined by their ability to ramp volumes. Tesla is working on increasing volumes by 50% a year and aiming for 20 million units by 2030. Farago acknowledges that it will be difficult to achieve the goal, but emphasized that he sees no reason why the company cannot do it.
the analyst points out that Tesla has by far the best cost base in the industry and is improving it by far at the highest pace. All this means highly profitable growth to be the great benefit of shareholders. Now, Ferrago affirmed New Street researchers buy rating with a price target of $530, which translates to $1,590 before the re recent 3 to 1 split. Now, friends, this is not a, an advice to buy or sell a Tesla or any stock. I am not in the stock market. I don't own Tesla shares. This was just for your um, uh, knowledge about Giga Berlin's near-term momentum um, comprising of production ramp, 4680 battery and structural pack, and demand and profitability. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Like this video, friends, if you found the information helpful, you will help to put it in front of more people and help to speed up the transition to electric vehicle adoption. And also let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Giga Berlin and Giga Berlin made uh, Model Y as well as the 4680 AD batteries, demand and profitability of Tesla, and production ramp up at Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. Have a great day. See you soon in our next couple of stories.